Hi, I'm Raval. Welcome to the second video in this CSS BEM series. Today we are going to be talking about naming conventions. Prerequisite. To fully comprehend this tutorial, please watch the first video in this series. The name of that video is What is BEM CSS and how to use it. There should be an annotation on screen right now. If you click that, it'll take you straight to that video. My naming convention. So in the previous video, I introduced you to a generic naming convention that people use. Um, I use something extremely similar. There's only one difference. In the bottom, you'd see I have block name dash dash modifier with no element in between. The reason for this is because certain blocks won't necessarily have an element and you would want to modify just the block itself. So you would be able to do something like block name dash dash modifier. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Just to let you know, as a side note here, that BEM CSS is just a methodology and a guideline for people to follow. It's something we should strive for, but that does not mean that everybody who follows BEM will have the same class name or naming convention structure. So in my case, this is how I'm doing it. People can uh, swap out the underscores for triple dashes, whatever the case is, but this to me is the simplest and easiest way to read it and if you want to follow it great but you know you don't have to this is my version you can create your own okay guys so let's get into it here um, on the right hand side of the screen you can see I've already coded something and I'm calling it a card you can see there's an image at the top just a placeholder at the moment we have some text and we have a button so on the left hand side you can see the markup that has created the card in the right and we start off with our article tag here and you can see the class name is card so that's my block and um, the reason why this is my block is because I'm identifying it at its top level if I extract the article so the article from here to here if I take that markup and place it anywhere in the site or on another project obviously if I took the, H uh, the CSS with it this block will not break, the styles will remain the same, and it'll look the same too. So that's our parentive or our block. And let's take a look at the child of header. You can see there's a card underscore underscore image dash wrapper name as its class, and that's fine, that's the element. And let's take a look at its sibling. We have a section with class name card underscore underscore information dash wrapper. Once again, another element. Now let's take a look at the children of card information wrapper. The first child here is a div and it's called card underscore underscore information. Of course it's just this part here. Now please note that this div does not have its parents name within it so we don't have card underscore underscore information dash wrapper dash information. The reason for that is to me, it's just it's it's just a poor na way of naming stuff because if you're going to go down that route and the route being you're going to name your parent, you're going to name your child, then you're going to name the grandchild, then you're going to name the great grandchild. It can go on for a very long time and names just become too long, too messy. And the point of BEM is to make something extremely easy to read. Um, remember, what we're doing here with BEM is we're tying elements to a block we are not tying elements to elements so my understanding of it is I'm going to say card underscore underscore information because that's what this element is it's information it's content and I'm tying it to the card block because without the card block this information div doesn't really make any sense so that makes sense to me I'm gonna have card underscore underscore information and that's how we're gonna work below we have a sibling of button and it has a class of button and it has a modifier button dash dash success. So here we have the classic example of having a button as a block with no element of course uh, but we do have a modifier so button dash dash success is a modifier that's modifying the block button. Okay so let's take a look at the CSS here and first of all just to let you know that I like to keep my CSS as neat as possible. Um, that's why I'm so drawn to BEM. Also like to document it as much as possible. 
to make sure that the dev who's working on this knows exactly what's happening here. So at the top, I have this style sheet is written in BEM. So I've identified my naming structure, the way I'm approaching BEM, so that anybody can take a look at this and within the first 10 lines, they'll understand exactly how this document works. So we have it separated by blocks, elements, and modifiers. That just makes it even easier to read and very easy to maintain. Now, in terms of modularity, we're looking at just the card here. And if you look on the left, we have a folder called card and we have the style in there and of course HTML separate. If I was building this in my own project, of course HTML would be separate, but what I would like to do is keep the style, the CSS or the CSS for this block as modular as possible. Possible. The reason for this is because let's take a look at something like the class of button that's probably going to be reused across the site in multiple instances, not just in my card. So I would like to keep something maybe but called, if we're using less, it'll be button.less and card.less and maybe compile it all into its own style CSS, then include that to style the CSS into my main CSS. And you can use whatever uh, tool you want, uh, automation tool, whether it's grunt, gulp, and you know I think that's just a better way of approaching it you keep it modular as possible to promote reuse of code and then it's much easier to pick up code anyway and put it into a new project so thanks for watching guys I hope that cleared up exactly how you would approach naming conventions with BEM and I hope that now you can go to your blocks and your code and create something that will be reusable for the future thanks for watching please like and subscribe